Hey everyone, I'm Tyler. And I'm Alex. Welcome to Unit 20, Nutty Professor. Nutty Professor. <laughs> Emmanuel Theodorescu, a professor at New, uh, a professor at York University in Canada, is no stranger to complaints. Students have been posting complaints about his illegible handwriting, his um, lectures that seem to make no sense, and his <laughs> sudden bouts of anger, reasons uh, for which are hard to fathom. Be no stranger to something. Be no stranger to something. Fathom. Fathom. But a recent exchange of messages between the professor and a student from Myanmar uh, really takes the cake. Take the cake. Take the cake. The military in Myanmar uh, decided to shut down the civilian government uh, and then they went a step further and tried to limit uh, the ability to communicate in the country. Uh, this involved cutting off internet access uh, or at least severely restricting it. Uh, one student who was studying remotely uh, in, based in Myanmar uh, actually uh, contacted Professor Theodorescu to inform him that uh, they would eventually be placing uh, further restrictions on the internet and on communications in general and asked him for an extension. Now, reluctantly he agreed, but not without having something to say about it. In fact, he said, the next time you miss something, that's it! Have you ever asked a professor for an extension? Did I? I don't think so. I have asked, um, so <clears throat> like we don't have like junior and senior year of high school. We have a, uh, something called sixth form or college, which is two years of what we call A-levels, mm -hmm. which is what you do <clears throat> after the age of 16. So when you're between the age of 16 and 18, you do A-levels. And I remember I was given a homework assignment to do over, I believe it was a weekend. And I knew that I would have to go on a family trip somewhere. So I asked my English teacher for an extension mm -hmm. and she, um, she was understanding and she said, yeah, sure, no problem. But nice. in university, uh, no, uh, I never needed to. Uh, what about you? I don't think I did either. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a vague memory of, of maybe writing the, the email to ask for an extension. So it might have happened once. Mm -hmm. I had a, an English teacher when I was like 17, 18, who was a very nice person, but she just used to stop the class and just go off on a tangent about yeah, her life. Yeah. And everyone would just be sitting there like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And yeah. she used to just go into personal detail that nobody wanted to know. Mm. And I remember there was one time when I was walking home and she stopped me to tell me that like uh, one of the senior teachers at the college like told her that she's not a good teacher and she complained to me about it like as a 17 year old student oh. so i was like come on like you can't complain about that to your students <laughs> yeah. you just can't yeah. yeah did you ever have a teacher like that um no but i remember there was a professor or or two in a, in a previous university i worked for that students complained um about that mm. that the professor got off track and then just talked about things that they said, we're not paying for this class. We're not paying for him to talk about uh, his personal life or personal issues. We're paying for him to teach the subject. So mm -hmm. yeah, it happens. Wow. But I, I don't know that I've had one like that exactly. That'll do it for this preview. We'll see you guys back for the review. <laughs>